Hello, welcome to No Better Time. This is Phil Salter. I'm just doing a quick dive from my car. So I pulled out, in fact, I'm going to turn it off to remove all that extra noise. I, uh, I was thinking about some things this morning and I wanted to, to capture them before I drove to work. Um, my son this morning, he was taking a shower because he'd get ready for school. And I, as I was walking by, I heard him say, oh dear. But it's funny because the way he said it, I was like, was that my wife? Because like, that's something she might say. So I walk in there and then um, it turns out he forgot a towel and he's in the shower and he realizes he doesn't have a towel and he just says, oh dear. But in like the same way my wife says it. And that makes me realize like, oh wow, um, children are so impressionable. They learn from us and they will um, emulate us. Um, and not necessarily always... And probably more often they're going to emulate the things we do wrong than good, is my guess, but I don't know. Um, and I made me think about something else I was thinking about. It's just how last night I was talking with my wife and I was saying how I want our children to look at our lives and say, wow, like, here, let me, let's give me a battery warning. Uh, wow, like they lived full lives. They had a rich personal lives. They had friends. They had hobbies. They had passions. I mean, they were there for me, and we, they spent time with me, and they showed me love, and I didn't feel neglected, but I saw them as an example of how to go after your dreams and how to, like I said, live a rich, full life, and I want to be that for my children. Um, and so for me, it's really important that I show them that I'm someone who's enjoying life, that I have friends, I have personal interests, and that, oh, of course, that me and their mom are, are in love and that we're happy and that we're an example of a good, healthy relationship as well. But uh, something that keeps coming up in my mind that I've learned over the last couple of years is the concept of making friends in this adult, which is really, really hard. And I think it's not unique to me. Um, but like two or three years ago, I just kind of like started realizing I moved, moved into our house. It was our, it's, we're still in our first house, but it, things kind of change once you move into your first house, at least for us, where we're like, hey, well, now we're more permanent. We're not like living in apartments and moving every year or two. Um, and now it's like time to, you know, put down some roots and make some friends and I hadn't really known how to do that as an adult married person you know when you're in college you kind of make friends with people living like the uh college housing or you know you make friends sometimes in classes you have these certain things that are established but to make friends with people in your neighborhood with your neighbors uh it takes a lot more concerted effort and it can be awkward right and I've talked to some people who just like in fact I have someone I spoke with just last week that's like I don't have any friends, he tells me, and um, I'm like, well, I understand that feeling, and it's like, we gotta, like, reach out, and he's like, yeah, but it's like, I don't want to hang out with people, it sounds so tedious, I don't want to be stuck hanging out with someone, and I remember that feeling, you know, that feeling where you're like, you try to convince yourself, I don't really want to do that, because it sounds, like, miserable and difficult, because you imagine the worst case scenario where, like, you tell somebody hey we should hang out and you go hang out with them and they're just absolutely boring or it's just miserable and you just want to be over with and you have to put on this whole front of like it's like going on a blind date and just being miserable right because like i think if you're a married person uh going out after a new friend is almost like trying to date right you're trying to fill someone out and see if you you could you have a um like-mindedness and if there's a connection if you will and then uh, you have to kind of put yourself out there and it's a little bit vulnerable. Um, and you also, like you said, you might convince yourself if you're like in the dating pool, like, ah, dating is so miserable. I don't even want to date. Who cares? Or you could convince yourself like, I don't really want to spend time with some random person and go to a movie or go bowling or whatever it might be. Um, but if you can believe that your life will be more enriched and better if you surround yourself with a more diversity of people and that you make connections and you can like enrich their lives and they can enrich your lives and you see new perspectives and like it's so valuable so a couple a few years ago i think two or three years ago i kind of just noticed some people around my circle in my neighborhood someone some people i'd see like at church or different things and i'd say huh that person seemed like someone i'd want to hang out with based on things i'd heard them said kind of in passing and I'm like, that person loves movies. I love movies. Super unique, right? But <laughs> I'm like, you know what? Next time I see them in the hall at church, I'm just going to go up to them and say, hey, I see, think we should hang out and we should go see a movie. And I kind of had this gut feeling, right? Sometimes we have these feelings, these impressions, these thoughts of things we should do and we push them away. And I'm, I'm all about saying, don't do that. Obviously, if it's like, hey, you should try... Uh, 
doing something really dangerous, it's like, yeah, push that away. But <laughs> if it's something like, you should reach out to that person that you just thought of, like, you should do it. Because even if you don't believe there's some divine thing happening there, um, what bad thing could come of that? Reaching out and maintaining a connection. As soon as I reached, I just, I'm like, I literally thought this thought, because I remember, and I didn't see this guy, and I was like, oh, I, I thought to myself, I've decided next time I see him, I'm going to approach him and say, hey, we should hang out. And then guess what? I walk in the hall, I turn the corner, and there he's standing there. And I'm like, all right, well, there's my chance. So I go up to him, just say something like, hey, man, you seem like we like the same kind of movies. We should go see a movie sometime, you know? And he's like, yeah, yeah, you know? It, was only, it wasn't that awkward, as awkward as it seemed like it would be. And then uh, next thing you know, we were at his, we uh, end up running to each other again a few, couple weeks later, and, and he brings it up. He's like, yeah, man, when are we going to do that movie? And I'm like, oh, cool, you know? Now he's reaching out. He's putting himself out there. And we start talking about different movies we like. And he brings up a movie I hadn't seen. He's like, you haven't seen that movie? Come to my house, you know, and, and that weekend or whatever. I go to his house. We watch the movie. We start doing regular movie nights. He starts inviting a couple other people. I make new friends. And then I have new neighbors moving even closer to me. And then we start, and they reach out actually and start doing like barbecues with the neighborhood. And I start going with him to the gym. And I just realized... I've been doing that more are people at work making connections with coworkers and becoming true friends with them and saying and and recognizing hey we should go for a walk to stretch our legs and having conversations making connections it takes effort but I'm here to tell you that it's worth it and if you feel like I don't have those connections in my life you can make them and I've learned from people that have enriched my life not just as friends but I've learned like new ways to make money I've been able to approach them and learn about how they invest and it's like more diversity of circle of your circle you get to learn from their knowledge you can have people draw upon you can help them when you they need help and they can help you and so this is all comes around full circle to getting closer to your goals and what you want to be um, and so not that you just use people for your ends but that's just the natural thing that happens when you expand your circle you're enriched and you see things you wouldn't have seen or noticed before so that's what I encourage you to do is make adult friends reach out if you have any thoughts on this or ideas or stories or concerns or just anything around this, please email me at nobettertime.podcast at gmail.com or contact at nobettertimepodcast.com. Um, you can make a comment on or even do a voice message through the Anchor uh, website, anchor.fm slash nobettertimepodcast. You can actually even do a, a, a video a voice message, and if you did that, I'll add that to the the episode. You can fo- you can follow me or uh, subscribe to me on YouTube if you search No Better Time Podcast. Uh, I, I'm looking for more subscribers. I've been posting. That's why I'm doing a video version of this. If you're watching this, if you're listening, um, I'm going to post this on my YouTube channel. The video version of this little quick dive. Um, I'm just looking for more um, engagement with people. I want examples of people and if you know someone or you have ideas of how to excuse me something was in my mouth um how to uh generate passive income i want to hear your stories or your ideas or even if you don't feel comfortable with being so specific i want to hear about like how you went about recognizing those things and kind of what things you need to have in place in order to capitalize on those opportunities when they came um so anyways uh you can go to my website no better time podcast dot com and there's a link there's links to all the different places you can listen to the podcast and you can even listen to the episodes from there if you wanted to um anyways thanks for listening go out there look at someone in your circle around you today or reach out to someone and just try to make some type of connection if it's just like saying hi and commenting on something dude i like your uh your computer bag or where'd you get that you know anything but reach out make a connection it's so easy in this world to close yourself off and just like live your own life, put your Airbu- AirPods in at the store, which I do. I'm not saying I'm not guilty of this. I get in a zone where I don't want to interact with people. But is that really good? Of course not. Sometimes it's okay. But if that's all we ever do, then that's not good. Reach out. Make friends. Make connections. You will be so enriched and you will never regret it. Unless you get murdered by a random person that you approach. Have a good day.